Okay there? Well, howdy. Some real beautiful country around this area. Uh-huh. Well, I'll leave you to it. We'll see you around. Property, it's your right to shoot. Well, hell, you don't say. Hey, you better leave me alone and do business properly. I sure can't have Jacob work taking over my shop when I pass. What is it you want from here? I need this back in a minute. Hurry it up. to me, but I'll still take your ah. dirty, rotten money. Just watch it. You just get what you need and don't linger too long, all right? Let me just stock up on my supplies. Let's just see what you got. You know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? Oh, sorry. No idea. No problem. Thank you. So long. Looks like hard work. Anyway, don't let me disturb you. Goodbye. Hello, mister. Sir? Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Mm-hmm. Well, good luck to you. I'll be seeing you. Hey. 
Hey, hey! That's for employees only. Here for a ticket to the show? Can I buy a ticket, please? Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. tale from when our country was young, but the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, an old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, Well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chucky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told.
Hope to see you again. Easy now. from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the, the O'Driscoll boys. Well, I guess you forgot about the interest. <clears throat> You all right, girl?